Carlos Valderrama, Carlos Alberto Valderrama Palacio, born September 2, 1961, also known as El Pibe, the kid, is a Colombian former footballer who played as a midfielder. A creative playmaker, known for his precise passing, technical skills, and elegance on the ball, he is regarded as one of the best Colombian and South American footballers of all time, and by some as Colombia's greatest player ever. His distinctive hairstyle, as well as talent and skillful playing style made Carlos one of South America's elite and most recognizable footballers in the late 1980s and early 1990s. He won the South American Footballer of the Year Award in 1987 and 1993, and in 1999, he was also named one of the top 100 players of the 20th century by World Soccer. In 2004, he was included in the FIFA 100, a list of the 125 greatest living footballers chosen by Pele to celebrate the 100th anniversary of FIFA. Valderrama was a member of the Colombian national football team from 1985 until 1998. He represented Colombia in 111 full internationals and scored 11 times, making him the most capped player in the country's history. He played a major role during the golden era of Colombian football in the 1990s, representing his national side in three FIFA World Cups and five Copa America tournaments. After spending most of his career playing club football in South America and Europe, towards the end of his career Valderrama played in Major League Soccer, joining the league in its first season. One of the most recognizable players in the league at the time of its inception, he helped popularize the league during the second half of the 1990s. To this day, he is an icon and is considered one of the most decorated players to ever play in MLS. In 2005, he was named to the most all-time best 11. Born in Santa Marta, Colombia, Valderrama began his career at Union Magdalena of the Colombian First Division in 1981. He also later played for Millonarios in 1984. He joined Deportivo Cali in 1985, where he played most of his Colombian football. In 1988. He moved to the French first division side Montpellier. He struggled to adapt to the less technical and the faster, more physical, and tactical brand of football being played in Europe, losing his place in the squad. However, his passing ability later saw him become the club's main creative force, and he played a decisive role as his side won the French Cup in 1990. In 1991, he remained in Europe and joined Spanish side Real Valladolid for a season. He then returned to Colombia in 1992 and went on to play for Independiente Medellin, and subsequently Atletico Jr. in 1993, with whom he won the Colombian Championship in 1993 and 1995. Valderrama began his Major League Soccer career with the U.S. side Tampa Bay Mutiny in the league's inaugural year of 1996, and won its ever first Supporter Shield and Most Valuable Player Award finishing the season with four goals and 17 assists. He remained with the club for the 1997 season, and also spent a spell on loan back at Deportivo Cali in Colombia, before moving to another MLS side, Miami Fusion, in 1998, where he also remained for two seasons. He returned to Tampa Bay in 2000, spending two more seasons with the club, while a member of the mutiny, the team would sell Carlos Valderramawigs at Tampa Stadium. In the 2000 MLS season, Valderrama recorded the only 20-plus assist season in MLS history, ending the season with 26, a single-season assist record that remains intact to this day, and which MLS itself suggested was an unbreakable record in a 2012 article. In 2001, Valderrama joined the Colorado Rapids, and remained with the team until 2002, when he retired, his American Soccer League career spanned a total of eight years, during which he made 175 appearances. In the MLS, Valderrama scored relatively few goals, 16, for a midfielder, but is the league's second all-time leader in assists, 114, after Steve Ralston, 121, a former teammate. In 2005, he was named to the MLS all-time best 11. Valderrama was a member of the Colombia national football team from 1985 until 1998, he made 111 international appearances, scoring 11 goals making him the most capped player in the country's history. He represented and captained his national side in the 1990, 1994, and 1998 FIFA World Cups, and also took part in the 1987, 1989, 1991, 1993, and 1995 Copa America tournaments. Valderrama made his international debut on October 27, 1985, 
in a 3-0 defeat to Paraguay in a 1986 World Cup qualifying match, at the age of 24. In his first major international tournament, he helped Colombia to a third place finish at the 1987 Copa America in Argentina, as his team's captain, where he was named the tournament's best player. During the tournament, he scored the opening goal in Colombia's 2-0 over Bolivia on 1st of July, their first match of the group stage. Some of Valderrama's most impressive international performances came during the 1990 FIFA World Cup in Italy, during which he served as Colombia's captain. He helped his team to a 2 0 win against the UAE in Colombia's opening match of the group stage, scoring the second goal of the match with a strike from 20 yards. Colombia lost their second match against Yugoslavia, however, needing at least a draw against the eventual champions West Germany in their final group match in order to advance to the next round of the competition. In the decisive game, German striker Pierre Litbarski scored what appeared to be the winning goal in the 88th minute of the game, however, within the last minute of injury time, Valderamo beat several opposing players and made a crucial left-footed pass to Freddy Rincon, who subsequently equalized, sealing a place for Colombia in the second round of the tournament with a 1-1 draw. Colombia were eliminated in the round of 16, following a 2-1 extra-time loss to Cameroon. On September 5, 1993, Valderrama contributed to Colombia's historic 5-0 victory over South American rivals Argentina at the Monumental in Buenos Aires, which allowed them to qualify for the 1994 World Cup. Although much was expected of Valderrama at the World Cup, an injury during a pre-tournament warm-up game put his place in the squad in jeopardy. Although he was able to regain match fitness in time for the tournament, Colombia disappointed and suffered a first-round elimination following defeats to Romania and the hosts USA. Four years later, Valderrama led his nation to qualify for the 1998 World Cup in France, scoring three goals during the qualifying stages. His impact in the final tournament at the advancing age of 37, however, was less decisive, and, despite defeating Tunisia, Colombia once again suffered a first-round exit following a 2-0 defeat against England, which was Valderrama's final international appearance. Although Valderrama is often defined as a classic number 10 playmaker, due to his creativity and offensive contribution, in reality he was not a classic playmaker in the traditional sense. Although he often wore the number 10 shirt throughout his career and was deployed as an attacking midfielder at times, he played mostly in deeper positions in the center of the pitch, often operating as a deep-lying playmaker rather than in more advanced midfield positions behind the forwards, in order to have a greater influence on the game. A team player, Valderrama was also known to be an extremely selfless midfielder, who preferred assisting his teammates over going for goal himself, his tactical intelligence, positioning, efficient movement and versatile range of passing enabled him to both set the tempo of his team in midfield with short, first-time exchanges, or create chances with long log passes or through balls. Valderrama's most instantly recognizable physical features were his big afro blonde hairstyle, jewelry, and mustache, but he was best known for his grace and elegance on the ball, as well as his agility, and quick feet as a footballer. His control, dribbling ability and footwork were similar to those of smaller players, which for a player of Valderrama's size and physical build was fairly uncommon, and he frequently stood up throughout his career for his ability to use his strength, balance, composure and flamboyant technique to shield the ball from opponents when put under pressure, and retain possession in difficult situations, which made him extremely popular with the fans. Valderrama's mix of physical strength, two-footed ability, unpredictability and flair enabled him to produce key and incisive performances against top-tier teams, while his world-class vision and exceptional passing and crossing ability with his right foot made him one of the best assist providers of his time, his height physique and elevation also made him effective in the air, and he was also an accurate free-kick taker on striker of the ball, despite not being a particularly prolific goal scorer. Despite his natural talent and ability as a footballer, Valderrama earned a reputation for having a languid playing style, as well as lacking notable pace, being unfit, and for having a poor defensive work rate on the pitch, in particular after succumbing to the physical effects of aging in his later career and themes. In his first season in France, he also initially struggled to adapt to the faster-paced, more physical and tactically rigorous European brand of football, which saw him play in an unfamiliar position, and gave him less space and time on the ball to dictate attacking passing moves. He was criticized at times for his lack of match fitness and his low defensive contribution, which initially limited his appearances with the club, 
although he later successfully became a key creative player in his team's starting lineup due to his discipline, skill, and his precise and efficient passing. Despite these claims, earlier in his career, however, Valderrama demonstrated substantial pace, stamina, and defensive competence. Former French defender Laurent Blanc, who played with Valderrama in Montpellier, voiced one of the most accurate descriptions for Valderrama, in the fast and furious European game he wasn't always at his ease. He was a natural exponent of toke, keeping the ball moving. But he was so gifted that we could give him the ball when we didn't know what else to do with it knowing he wouldn't lose it. And often he would do things that most of us only dream about. In February 2004, Valderrama ended his 22-year career in a tribute match at the Metropolitan Stadium of Barranquilla, with some of the most important football players of South America, such as Diego Maradona, Enzo Francescoli, Ivan Zamorano, and José Luis Chilver. In 2006, a 22-foot bronze statue of Valderrama, created by Colombian artist Emilcar Risa, was erected outside Estadio Eduardo Santos in Valderrama's birthplace of Santa Marta. Valderrama was the only Colombian to feature in FIFA's 125 Top Living Football Players list in March 2004. Valderrama appeared on the cover of Konami's International Superstar Soccer Pro 98. In the Nintendo 64 version of the game, he is referred to by his nickname, El Pibe. Valderrama has also appeared in EA Sports FIFA Football Video Game Series, he was named one of the Ultimate Team Legend cards in FIFA 15. Since retiring from professional football, Valderrama has become assistant manager of Atletico Jr. On November 1, 2007, Valderrama accused a referee of corruption by waving cash in the face of Oscar Julian Ruiz when the official awarded a penalty to America de Cali. Jr. lost the match 4-1, which ended the club's hopes of playoff qualification. He later also served as a coach for a football academy called Clearwater Galactics in Clearwater, Florida. Valderrama is married and has six children. Scores and results lists Columbia's gold tally first. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.